You just barely rip, beat him in the string contest, which means you very, very slowly tear his arms off. Oh, <laughs> While looking him in his cold, dead days. robot eyes. What are you gonna do with his arms? <laughs> yeah. you know talking? I don't know. So okay, you, you, it, your pockets are not big enough for two okay. robot arms. I throw them back down the hallway. <laughs> okay. Uh, you throw the robot arms, robot arms down the hallway. Oh, Mark. Man, I'm gonna move back going. over to hunger between that robot and the button. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it for your bizarre turn. Uh, Taco, you are up next. I, like, can't take an action because I've just been watching this thing unfold. <laughs> like, what? I thought I, I thought I knew him. <laughs> he is an animal. Whoa. Right. You cast out magic missiles the size of goddamn torpedoes. <laughs> you, you cast out these gigantic, these bolts are bigger than you are. Uh, and they go barreling out of suck on these dipshit the edge of your wand and uh, blast the green one who is now severely severely bloodied. Perfect, but not dead. Excellent, but not dead. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. And that is it for Taco's turn. Merle. Okay. I only have one hurting, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm casting the hurting. Twenty. Twenty. Yes, definitely. Uh, that is a very good hit. You blast the red one uh, who uh, locks up stiff and falls over dead. Yay! Hooray! Uh, leaving just the green ogre uh, cool. alone. What I shot with magic with missiles. Nobody to attack alone the in the uh, bet, in the taco. arena with Taco. Uh, cool day. The for me. green one charges at Taco and swings a open-handed slap at you. Taco, as he uh, slaps you, you go flying back um, uh, about uh, 15 feet uh, and land on the ground on top of your wand, which which snaps beneath you. Uh, Travis, down the hallway, you see the two arms uh, slowly start crawling their way towards you in the middle, uh, independently. The uh, armored one uh, is going to walk uh, towards you and try and do the same sneak sneak by you maneuver. He manages to get by you and slaps the button, which uh, electrifies and paralyzes Taco and Merle. Magnus, it is now your turn. (laughs) Okay, I'm going to slam into the glass wall. Okay. With my axe, two-handed. You uh, blast through the glass, um, which comes raining down, not on top of anybody, which is fortunate, because it's uh, it's pretty thick glass. It could probably do some damage. And you're going down with it, right? Correct. You're falling (laughs) two stories, so you're going to take some goddamn damage. You take five damage for falling. And you are on ground level. Attack the green one. Uh, Okay, yeah, you landed relatively uh, close to him, so you get right up on him and attack uh, four. Two-handed battle axe. I felt really guilty about paralyzing Taco. And he's sitting there with, like, drool coming out of the side yeah. of his mouth. Like, rah, rah, rah. My face is frozen uh, in the expression of a man who just realized that his wand broke. <laughs> so it's pretty, it's pretty sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the distance, there's a whine of, of a dying robot. Um, I did ten, 10 points of damage. Not enough to kill him. But enough to draw his attention. Yes, in fact, you did, and he goes next and uh, immediately returns fire. Uh, he knocks you across the arena, though, um, and you are you go prone. Oh, um, I forgot to hunker. Damn you it. did not hunker. He knocks you uh, about uh, 20 feet back, and you land on your tummy. Next in the order.